Hello guys, and welcome to another video. Uh, I haven't posted in forever. Well, a gaming room. G gaming, play playing a game, uh, for that matter. And, uh, I decided since I just got past finals, pretty much, even though our school district didn't do finals, it was more like a do every single thing in the class and hope to God you don't fail, which I have all A's and a C right now. And one of the A classes is letting me turn in makeup work very generous until, uh, until next Friday. So that A could be easily become a failing at any second. Because I'm missing a lot of shit in that class. But, uh, <laughs> instead I wanted to play a game with you all. Because I haven't done it forever. And we're going to be playing one of my childhood favorites. Boop. And if y'all watched the... Hang on. Uh... If y'all watched the important uh, update video, you would know that I'm using a dual TV setup right now. So that that TV stays where it is. I'm not using my normal stand. I'm using one of my shitty $20 stands that my brother got. And uh, pretty much it gets the job done for right now because I just want to do a part of the game and then leave it there. Let me grab a different chair that isn't squeaky. There we go. Oh, this chair's not squeaky whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to play a game with y'all, because I haven't done it in a while. I got my purple controller for N64. Yes, I'm playing an N64. I try and not play emulators when I can, and I have the game, one of my favorite childhood games, and here we go. Man, this feels so good not playing at an angle anymore. I can just look straight. So, I know it makes sense to basically start over, but like, hang on. I know it makes sense to just start over, but this is my main save. And if you look, I haven't 100%ed it yet. Which, this was my childhood save, so I know what I'm missing. But I still want to play it because I... You know what? No. I gotta do the new save for everyone. Yeah, I gotta do the new save. <laughs> still having problems even fucking getting the game started, just like my cousin said. Uh, let's start a new game here. Normal. I haven't seen this intro in forever. 
I miss this game. I played this game so much in my childhood. Hi, my name is Mr. Tip. If you want any hints, just speak to me. You can do this by standing near me and pressing B. Oh, by the way, you can press and hold B if you ever lose your ball. Good luck. Yoink. Let's just read them all. This is the entrance to the practice level. Jump into the well to learn valuable tricks and tips. Uh, no. Get out the ball. Return balls to the cave to open the gateways to other worlds. Okay, well. Yoink. Oh. I never knew that. Oh, oh that's quite funny. Huh. Hi, my name is... Okay. To spin the camera. Left and right. Plus this or that. I was doing that. This. To control Glover without the ball, use the joystick. You can jump by pressing A. Press it again in there to do a double jump? Well, <laughs> To negotiate... To negotiate... St to nego... Is that negotiate? To, to negotiate steps try bouncing the ball. This can be done by repeatedly tapping B while holding the ball. Is that negotiate? I think that is. Mr. Tip says to duck, press and hold Z. Tapping Z will make Glover, Glove, Glover do a cartwheel. Yep. This is how you can get in between small gaps. And that's what they mean by... <laughs> He's busting a nut. Man, I'm playing from the recording TV and not the TV I have right in front of me because I just it's hard having two TVs go on at once. I'm not used to it. To get over higher walls, try throwing the ball. You can do this. Hold B, then press and hold the joystick in the direction that you want to throw, then release B. I mean, I could just... Can, can I not? There we go. Basically, I just want to see if I can do that, but what they mean is you just throw it up. Oh, okay. Come on. Bounce it off the wall. So there's that. You can also use... Use the throw action to get across gaps. If you're about to slap or throw the ball, you can change your mind by pressing Z. You can also press Z to release the ball if you're just holding it. Yeah, which is basically that. I wonder if there is there anything down here? No. Yeah, this is still just a practice level. I just wanted to go through it so y'all at least kind of know the controls. I I know the controls. Some gaps are too wide to throw your ball across. Hold in. hold A and push and hold in the direction you want to slap the ball, then release A. Yeah, so basically you hold B to throw it up. Like, let me show you. So you hold B to throw it, or you can hold A to slap it. This is a ball switch. Place your ball here to activate it. Whee! Yep, and then what you just do is you kind of just... Switches are kind of weird. There you go. The, they're like... They're more angled than it looks. Like, it looks like... The angle would be like right to like the edge of this. Like, it isn't where it shows the angle stops. Like... Like, right here, it's trying to push me to the... This... Switches are weird. I don't know what I'm trying to fucking say anymore. To shell water can be crossed without a problem. 
a doy. I'm just gonna go slap my ball across. Oh, so when you're in water, your ball does. Th Come on, do it. There you go. Uh, when you're in water with this ball, you do this, and your controls get switched. So I'm holding up, and I'm going backwards, and I'm holding down, and I'm going forward. This is left, and this is right, so all direction gets swapped. You cannot hold the ball in deep water. You need to you would need to use the ramps to get the ball out. No, 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 go back. I wanna bitch slap this bitch across. These trends may be broken by fist slamming. Jump? No, by fist slamming them. Jump by pressing A and then press Z to slam. Slam dunk! Some ledges may be too hard to throw the ball onto. Try climbing. No, try combining the bounce and the row. You can use your magic to change your ball if you're just holding it. Just press R. Otherwise, point at the ball with B, then press R. Oh, I forgot that's how you do that. This is a Glover switch. F use Fist Lamp to operate it. Yep, so you see here, this star, and then you just go. That's a cartwheel. That is a ball target. Is he not gonna come over here and tell me what to do with a switch? Really? Wow, really play your intuition, I guess. And then, uh, whoop, no, no, no. You cannot exit the level if you do not have your ball. This, this game f looks like it's all about, like, an escort mission in some modern games, but when you base... When you base the whole entire game around the carry mission, it's not that bad. And I'll show you about the other ball forms in a bit. Because I kind of want to save that for another part of the video. Because there's like, oh yeah, I forgot about this. So, every single time you finish a world, you get a ball. You, uh... I'm pretty sure this guy says it. No, this guy does not say it. But base... Okay, I'm trying to bounce the ball. But basically, whenever you get a ball, you bring it in here. Link. Then he takes the ball, and he turns into a crystal. Now, if you look, this is one crystal, two crystal, three crystal, four crystal, five crystal, six crystal, seven crystal, and the first one's free. Then, basically, you have the wizard. And if I remember correctly, if you press up on the C pad, you can look up. Just FYI. Uh, I forgot, is there a hole in the top of the ceiling? Because that would be a great attention to detail. No, I don't think there is. Yeah, there isn't. I mean, that would be a great attention to detail. I mean, it's a Nintendo 64 game. Sadly, the second one only has a very, very, very rough beta. Now, if I remember correctly, the sky is now a little bit less, less red. Unless it's not for the first ball. But now if you see, we unlocked the first level. Now where's the boy? Here he is. You, to open the store, you must collect every Garab from this world. 
forgot. There's level one, two, three, boss secrets. I don't like this world secret. I haven't actually fucking finished it because it's super... It's super different than everything else. So here's the first level, guys. Finally into it, only 15 minutes into the video. So, first thing about this world that I know is you go this way. My teammate does nothing this way, and there's a reason why I'm leaving the ball, because it's kind of annoying to go here without it. This is what an extra life looks like. There's a couple in every single level. Like, this level has, like, I think two. Possi- I- th I'm pretty sure it's two. So then, here's this enemy. Uh, you can just- Come on. Stun him. There you go. Now he's stunned, so I can just collect all these. It's stunned, motherfucker. So, another cool thing, uh, let me just, like, bail the bar real quick, is that, they didn't tell you this, but if you hold down, uh, hang on, not that one. Do I not have the button? Wait a minute, was... was that a cheat that I was using before? I could have sworn I had that ability. Wait a minute, let me... Hang on, people, I'm sorry. I have to double-check something real quick. Uh... No, I don't think... No? Unless it's just an ability I unlock later, or it tells me how to do it, that's actually quite a dick move, because... Then, uh, younger people won't know, like, where the fuck to look. Like, new people to the game. That's kind of... Oh yeah, uh, down on the C pad... Uh, changes your direction. Like, how far and forward your camera is. Ah, you're gonna follow me. Yeah, I know. I'll I'll show the people in another video. You don't really need it right now. Let me just bring this spot to the end of the level. And then I'll go back and collect everything, because I already know what the hell to do. Oh, let me just grab this checkpoint. You need your ball to grab tech points. It makes sure that you aren't just fucking <laughs> walking over there. Grab this. What does this guy say? Objects with cracks in them can often be smashed. Either slap the bowling ball at them or fist slam them. Some enemies can be destroyed by fist slamming. Man, I haven't touched the N64 controller in so long, too, man. Uh, you can also use the D-pad to control Glover, but some I switch back and forth a lot. So what does this guy say? Uh, this is a checkpoint. Throw the ball through it, and you'll be you'll return here if you lose a life. Now, if I remember correctly, you can just yep, that's one. Is it this way? Yep. <laughs> Get the bowling ball, my ass. I forgot which way that gets pushed. So now let me just... Fuck. Now, many of you, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Game Grumps actually played this game, and... Uh, I'm actually quite sad that they didn't get super far. They only did, like, the... F I don't even think they got it to the final boss. 
of this world. They just stopped playing it. Which is kind of sad, but like, what, what are you going to do? They played it, like, maybe three, four years ago. But, eh. Just kind of a fan hoping that a popular YouTuber would bring light to this game again. Because this is a pretty fucking solid game. Like, this was a Nintendo 64 game only. I think it went to some other things, but I may be completely wrong. But this was its home. Like, this, this is where it got its popularity. Uh, in between episodes, I'll look that up. Yoink. Ooh. Okay, where's the ball? Here it is. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. First first one up. Man, first level 100%. I'll do every single bonus episode, I mean, every single bonus level in, un like, the final episode of the series after the final boss. Because they are definitely their own challenge. So, here is our time. Here is the time we need to beat if we want to go for a trophy. I don't actually remember if you get anything for getting trophies. I would also have to look that up on my free time. But now you see, we're in a... Same style level, but completely different, like, level layout. They get confusing later on. Hey, bitch, get the fuck out of here. I really don't want to use the other ball just yet. But I will have to do it right now. So... With RB, you can go from a bouncing ball to a bowling ball. Heavy. Can't really get much air, but it does pack a punch. Then you have the metal ball. I'm gonna be real, this one was fucking shit. This one's fucking shit. It's, it's smaller than the bouncing ball. Bounces higher than the bowling ball. Is kinda heavy like the bowling ball. Like how the bowling ball doesn't sink in water. Like if I show you. It doesn't sink in water. I mean, you can move it a little bit better, but yeah. This only got a use, I'm pretty damn sure, in the final world. You never touch this ball anywhere else, I'm pretty sure. Because you have to use a magnet in world 6. There's only 6 worlds, so it's legit the final world where this ball, I'm pretty sure, only comes into play. Then, you have the famous ball. I'll just show this for the meme. So, here's the crystal. Let's bounce it. Fuck! I broke the crystal, and I lost a life. Yep. You have the option to pick a crystal, and it you can just, as soon as you try doing anything with it, like, let me slap it. Didn't break. How about I fucking eat it? It isn't breaking? There you go. I actually wonder if there's a crystal-only run of Glover. Is that even possible? But since I'm losing a bunch of lives, if you throw your ball off the edge, or if you fall off the edge, you die. Yep, so I just lost three lives demonstrating shit. Fuck, I did that wrong. Don't you dare. I'm still doing this wrong. Bitch, I fucking see that. I am failing this heavily. There we go. So if you also notice, uh, your ball can grab garabs and you can grab garabs. So I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure this was every single one in this area. I can't fucking turn around. Yep. I'm pretty sure. Yep, you can smash the pyramid in extra life. I think. Does this ball have better traction? It, it actually kind of does a better traction. Okay, so there's a little bit 
better use for this bow. I need a switch. No, that's a crystal. No, 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 Get the fuck out the water. Get the fuck out the water. No, 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 Fuck. Come on, ball. Be a platform. Mash and Z, there we go. Come on. Ooh. Just just to get the checkpoint right now. Uh I'll just leave this ball like right here. These ones. Yo, if I ever fucking miss a mat, if I ever miss a Garab, I'm gonna be so goddamn pissed. Cause then the video's gonna be like an hour long of me going back through the fucking area being like, where did it go? Is there any more up on top of this roof? I don't think so. I seriously remember there being like a Garab meter. Like, that's B. Like, wasn't there a Garab meter? Like, you can hold down a button and it shows you where the Garabs are. I'm, unless that's only, like, after you beat the game, it makes you want to go back. Uh, that looked like there's an edge to it. I was about to fucking just eat myself off of there. But yeah, that looks like it's about it. Uh... Yeah, that does look like it's about it. Let me just double check. Whoa! Ah, he almost got me there. Yep, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Always check around uh, edges. Like, you can see how this one's a bit tricky to get to. Okay. Like, that's, that's, like, a place where they would hide them. So it's always good to check, like, around the level. Uh, how do I want to do this? I think I would just... Fuck. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm just gonna go fucking kill everyone now. Your ball can take three hits, and I'm pretty sure we share the same life pool with the with the ball. Because we have three hearts right there, and the ball gets hit three times, you're dead. Oh, wait, shit, did I get hearts by grabbing Garabs? Huh. Okay. I normally don't give a shit, or get hit three times in a level, so I don't really know how the health works. Also, I haven't played this game in like a couple fucking years, so I still don't know how that works. I'm still looking at the TV in the fucking top... I'm looking at the TV you guys are looking at. It's the weirdest fucking angle imaginable. Now, you can either hit that button and drain the water, or you can just get a bowling ball, since it sticks in the water, and then just bring it over to the button. So, I was going to post a video about one of the hardest jumps in this game, and I decided not to do it because I couldn't properly show it on video. So, this level has one of the worst... WORST possible fucking places for Garabs that I only ever got this as a kid by cheating. Now this is the way that I figured out how to do it. Fuck, fuck, no, 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 I am dumb. So get the ball on the button. God damn it. I now have Butterfingers. Come on.
You can kind of see what I mean by the buttons are weird. Like, the bowling ball does not want to get on top of that. Okay, so Z. Nope! I'm fucking. I'm. Fuck! I will get this game. You will not. You would not dissuade me! You fucking know what? No, 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 no. Like, so look, look at this. I'm getting pushed back. I'm getting pushed fucking back. That's what I mean by this button's weird. I was getting pushed back. You see that? You know what? No, 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 no. Okay, people. This has been Cooley uh, playing Glover, one of his childhood favorite games. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, I guess. And I'll see y'all in the next video, because you damn know I'm going to be finishing this fucking world, and maybe even a couple more worlds, all today. Okay, peace.